That's right, October 25th marked three years of Halo 5. I'm, I'm a little late in this video, yes, but I wanted to make a video talking about it since we had the recent HCS event that kind of summarized the end of the franchise for the competitive side of things. Because we recently had the HCS event that kind of summarized the competitive play of Halo 5. And I kind of wanted to talk about just my experience with Halo 5 as a game as a whole, how it launched and how it progressed to where it is now. And also just my experience as a content creator for the last three years of Halo 5. And to commemorate the three years of Halo 5, 343 actually granted us some new rec packs. So let's check it out right over here. You can see we have the greatest hits, hit, greatest hits customization pack. Basically says gear up with some of the most popular cosmetic wrecks in Halo 5 Guardians. Contains five permanent wrecks selected from the most popular visual customization wrecks of rare or better rarity if available. Now I do have pretty much all the unlocks, but maybe there might be something that's kind of hi hiding around here that I don't have yet. Maybe some kind of emblem, so we'll see, let's jump right in and check this out right here. And arena boosts. Big deal. I could use this actually to get the one, 152. That's kind of the last thing I have to get accomplished with this. Probably the same thing. Yes, exactly. But if you haven't logged into Halo 5 for quite some time, I know I keep seeing the video in my chat about a lot of people saying that they have not actually had a chance to check out Halo 5 recently. Go hop on, check it out, get those rec packs unlocked, and hopefully get some new cosmetics in that you maybe have not unlocked yet. Now as a content creator, I was very excited about going into Halo 5. I had been playing, well, at least trying to play MCC uh, for the most part and trying to make content on that game, uh, but due to the pretty much horrible flop of a launch of all time that game was, it was kind of difficult to make content on it and a lot of hype died for just the franchise as a whole, but I was still writing it out. I was still really enjoying playing Halo and so going to Halo 5 was like a new game, new exciting things, and this game looks brand new to like, there's a lot of new things to learn, so I was really looking forward to it. I was kind of hoping with the mentality being like kind of a tips and tricks kind of channel with the idea of you come to my channel, you try to, so you can get better at the game. Uh, little did I know that um, a lot of people are much better at Halo than I am. <laughs> You know, seeing uh, some of these players are able to get some incredible gameplays just playing some matchmaking. And I'm just like, dude, I just can't keep up with that. And also, uh, my, my life at the time, I wasn't really able to grind out Halo as much as I would have liked. I really only had about one day a week I was able to play. And I played play for like six hours. And that was it. So I wasn't never able to have a consistent uh, game schedule for kind of keeping my skills sharp. So I never really was able to get very good at the game, starting out at least. And anyway, we had some mild success. You know, we got some pretty decent growth on the channel, which was fantastic. Really appreciated that. Um, I think just that um, a lot of people were kind of let down by Halo 5. We'll get into that later though. I'm kind of talking about more of the content creator side of things. And so I tried my best to at least upload you know, two, three, maybe even four videos a week. Uh, just trying to do some stats, or some information, some call outs, some news and information. Just kind of um, try to do like various different types of videos and review videos as well. Some of them did pretty well, some of them did yeah, all right. And uh, some kind of live gameplay commentary stuff, which um, I did like a road to rank series, which is like I uploaded first 10 matches it took me to get a rank. And at the end of the series, obviously you get your rank and I try to summarize everything. That series did okay, at least for my size of a channel. Um, maybe hopefully with infinite things might improve, but we'll see how that goes. I figured it was a great way to try to uh, create daily content. And so, but, but um, I found the videos were like kind of all right, really. And honestly for Halo 5, I was kind of hoping for like a big break kind of moments. Uh, I didn't really have necessarily an exact goal of what kind of subscriber count I wanted, but I wanted to kind of break the mold to where I can at least be a notable figure in the community. And I don't think I wasn't really able to accomplish it really with Halo 5. Though as of recently, things have definitely gotten better, especially during uh, the build up around uh, Infinite, for basically the build up for from um, Halo Online to the Infinite announcement, I was actually gaining quite a good amount of subscribers and notoriety to our point now actually people recognize me, which is kind of cool. I think also building up a community on Twitch that I've been working on has really helped me out that end as well, because I've tried 
to rethink about how I create content on the channel ever since then and it's been trying to pay off a lot better we're now I'm not really focusing on trying to be like tips and tricks or trying to be the entertaining guy or anything like that. I focus my videos more on like what's going, what people are talking about, what would people search for on YouTube, make a video on that. Be it tips and tricks, commentary, topics or something, trying to talk about the game as a whole. Now the launch of Halo 5, that was a bit of a mixed bag, I would say. Uh, it gave you the core aspect of Halo, at least. Like the bare bones of like what makes Halo great. It launched, basically. At least from the multiplayer end of things. Um, but not having big team battle was a big setback for a lot of people. And being kind of forced into playing Warzone for the first month. Not launching with Ford, Forge, I should say. And also the minimal map count. And um, I can understand like why 343 decided to go with this like monthly update for at least for first like, year and a half, I think it was. Or first year of Halo. Uh, that way, just to kind of keep people coming back to the game as something new, something fresh to kind of go like, give you a reason why to play. Because there was a big issue with Halo 4 is that there was a really high player count at first and then steeply dropped down. And so 3 for 3 thought it would be a great way to release content over like a period of like a year to um, make it so then people will keep playing. But the thing is though, what 3 for 3 did was they kind of cut content that people kind of expected from launch and kind of trickled it in over time. And I think it really overall hurt Halo 5 rather than actually helped it out. Especially with having game modes like Infection, which is like one of the more significant popular game modes in Halo as a series. You know, I don't think it launched until May after launch. It was like six months after the launch or something like that. Even more actually, wait, to actually play Infection. And I think by that point, it got people kind of dropped off. You generally, after the first like three or six months after the game, you'll see like a drop off to where you have like the dedicated fans that will kind of stick throughout the game, for at least for another year before it got kind of slowly dropped. Then you have a gradual decline after that. So I think uh, Halo 5 had a rather weak launch on content and it really kind of hurt. I feel like you need to come out with a bang, give everybody everything you would ever want to do in a Halo game to start out with to keep people coming back and then you can release new updates it doesn't have to be anything huge really like a new playlist maybe a new map maybe some a forge reset of new maps and matchmaking or something like that uh, to kind of keep people coming back rather than being like oh now you can finally play what you've always been able to do in halo so hopefully in infinite uh three for three comes out fully swinging when it comes to that game that gives you everything you'd ever expect to have in a halo game at launch not trickled in over a period of a year. Gameplay wise, there was a lot of controversy between that. You know, some people really liked Halo 5's gameplay. I personally do. A lot of people didn't like it. So there's plenty of content talking about like why people don't like it or why people do like Halo 5. Uh, I do think but for the competitive side of things, things were a bit tricky. Yeah, because I can see that 3 for 3 tried doing a bit of a synergy when it came to your standard Halo gameplay and the pros gameplay. They, they wanted to have the exact same game played by casuals as you would by pros. Uh, but the thing is that the game was a little too sweaty for casuals and a little too casual for pros. And so there was a bit of a kind of back and forth when it came to balancing out uh, competitive Halo 5 for the first two years. And not until this last year was when I really feel like Halo 5 really hit its stride of a really good solid gameplay. I think the last year of HCS has been fantastic for gameplay and maps and just uh, pretty much everything involving with it. I think Halo 5 right now is absolutely fantastic. Sadly though, the last HCS event just happened for Halo 5, so we're not going to be getting any more competitive Halo 5, uh, at least big name streams, uh, for quite some time. Maybe some kind of low-key, you know, grassroots stuff like I mentioned in the previous video, but other than that, that's about it. So maybe if uh, 343 was more willing to listen to pros to uh, hit that stride of good gameplay earlier on in the year, uh, or Halo, Halo 5's game lifespan, I think that would have worked out really well. Uh, I think that's one thing I think 343 is really trying to focus on with this new team that's kind of, kind of slowly rotated in over the uh, three years since launch till now, is that I've noticed that 343 has improved a lot with communication with its player base, and that's absolutely huge. They're listening and they're communicating far better than they ever have as a, as a company, which is so important because 
communication you will never perfect there's always something you can talk about there's always some way to improve communication is between player base and the franchise it's much like a relationship it's something you always have to work on and it's something you can always improve and i think 343 has taken those steps especially in the last year with the recent mcc talks about uh, those updates as well that uh, be more transparent be letting people know what's going on in the future to for the franchise so then it's uh, just the players know what's going on have something to look forward to and keep us excited why give us reasons why to be excited for halo so moving forward i am very excited about halo infinite i'm very excited about the halo franchise i see us only growing i see fantastic things coming in the future especially with this grassroots program that was recently announced i am excited for halo halo 5 it was good it wasn't amazing like previous some older classic halos it was really good though i would still go down since the beginning i've always said that halo 5 is the best halo multiplayer since halo 3. now is it better than the classic halos i feel like it's pretty tough to compare just because they're very different games if you go back and play the two you'll know that they're completely different skill sets basically and mentalities when it comes to playing and so you can't really compare them it's like comparing apples and oranges to me yeah they're both fruit but very different. So Halo 5 will always have a special place in my heart. Because of Halo 5, uh, I was able to get more involved with the Halo community than I ever have before. Uh, like I said, I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm a mod on the Twitch channel, so that's pretty cool. I've had a chance to interact with uh, some devs. I've gone to some Halo events because of Halo 5. Uh, I met some awesome Halo YouTube and stream guys uh, at PAX because of Halo 5. So I, you know, because of Halo, Halo 5 will always have something special. For me because uh it's opened the doors to more opportunities and hopefully with this grassroots thing thing oh, doors keep opening for us here on the channel so anyways, guys thanks for watching the video I greatly appreciate it let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts and experiences have been with halo 5 i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you like this video i kind of like more kind of topics on halo kind of commentaries please make sure to tap a like as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this if you missed any content for me or want to stay up to date with anything halo related make sure you tap subscribe with the bell keep you notified every time we do awesomeness on the channel which is going to be every time anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it. check out the videos on the screen right over here if you missed any content for me i'll catch you all in the next video peace out